Uh, our farm name is Heather Home Holstein. It started uh, in 1977 by my mom and dad. Uh, they did farm with my parents. They did farm with my grandparents, and then uh, they started to farm on their own, and then they uh, built this barn. The original barn is standing here, and then they built an addition on to milk 30, uh, 31 Holsteins in a tie stall, and uh, they started doing that in 77. We currently milk 30, uh, 31 Holsteins in the tie stalls, and then we have uh, maybe about 10 dry cows and bred heifers, so we have 100, 100 hand in total for all the herd. We try and produce the highest quality milk that we can. Um, there's uh, high standards for all milk producers, so we try and meet them as best we can to produce a healthy, nutritious product that is good for the consumers. Uh, we do uh, exhibit some cattle at uh, numerous shows across uh, Ontario and uh, throughout Canada. Um, the major one we go to is the Royal Winter Fair in Toronto. Um, we do show usually a few animals at it every year. It helps for a lot for marketing and general exposure. Um, many people come from throughout the world, numerous countries, to visit the farm to see individual cows that have been bred for generations uh, to try and be superior. And they come to the Royal Winter Fair and it's a good way to market and get exposure for your herd, for marketability, for embryos that we might sell throughout the world and we, uh, there has been a lot of markets opened up for live cattle being exported to other countries as well. So we try and use that as much as we can. Yeah, any given year, um, embryos vary as to which countries uh, would like embryos from cows. Uh, this last year, we were fortunate we exported, uh, I believe, over 60, 70 embryos to many countries, um, numerous, to few to Brazil. Um, we sold a lot to Germany, Holland, um, Denmark, Finland. Uh, we have exported in the last few years embryos to Australia and uh, Japan has been a few as well. So. And what that process does is basically we can uh, recover multiple embryos from a cow and then we freeze them in liquid nitrogen and the high quality embryos can be sent to numerous countries around the world and then they can use our genetics in their herd and try and increase their herd that way. And we also keep some for ourselves and uh, try and increase our own herd as well and higher quality genetics.